Okay, in this quick uh, unit three test review part two, we're going to be looking at finding slope from two points. So in this example, you see that it asks you to find slope given a pair of points. So we have this point, negative 5, 15, and this point, 1, 3. One thing we probably should go ahead and consider is labeling these. So remember, the first is always the x, and the second is the y, x, y. And some, we might want to label these as x1 and y1, and then we'll label the other point as x2 and y2. We do that just to ensure that we are um, finding the difference of these points um, the same. So remember when you're finding the slope, and I repeat this often, but it's the change in y over the change in x. Now we do have a formula for this. The formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? Remember that I've shown you in class often um, that you just need to be sure if you subtract the y's and you go this direction, then you need to be sure to do the same with the x's and go that direction as well. It just kind of depends on where you start, okay? Now, another um, technique to use is when you, if you are using the formula, okay, remember we're subtracting and we just kind of put our values in parentheses. All right, so for this one here, we're going to do y2 minus y1. So we'll start with this 3. So in the first parentheses, I would put a 3. And the minus is part of the formula because we're finding the difference in these numbers. And then the second y value, uh, y2 minus y1 is 15. So I'm going to put 15 in this parentheses. Okay, and then now I need to subtract the x's. And since I started with y2 minus y1, I'm going to be doing x2 minus x1. So it's going to be 1 minus negative 5. So again, I will use my parentheses and I'll put the x2 there. And then the x1 is going to be negative 5. So now you see down here on the bottom that it's not 1 minus 5, but it's 1 minus negative 5. Well, minus a negative can be turned into, you can always add the opposite. That would become 1 plus positive 5. So to work this out, we're going to be doing 3 minus 5 in the top and 1 plus 5 in the bottom. And in the top, in the numerator, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. And 1 plus 5 is 6. So our slope is negative 2, 6. But that's going to simplify to negative 1 third. So our slope for this one is negative 1 third. So be sure to uh, use your formula here and also consider using your parentheses everywhere. All right, and that is a quick review of finding slope from a pair of points.